Welcome back to another tutorial of CCM.js in the GIS World Academy. In this short video, I'm going to talk about CCM 3D tiles, what is CTGML data and how to convert it to the 3D tiles, and finally, styling and filtering 3D tiles. So, if you are excited, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to show you the result of this tutorial. So, here you can see this is the small and simple application uh, that uh, we want to create uh, until the end of this tutorial together so they are these are all the ctgml data of stuttgart and i have already provided in the data folder i will show you later and uh, yeah you can see that uh, how easily you can just convert the ctgml data to the 3d times with the power of the ccm ion and then you can easily you can see that how perfectly all, all the data has already claimed to the uh, cesium train model yeah and then you can see that when i'm clicking on each building the information regarding the building stored in the ctgml data occurred and appear in the 3d details and you can see it in the uh, right hand side and then after that we will work uh, how we can give different type of style to our 3D tiles here. You can see I have it two different type of category, train height and the roof type. So here you can see this is the starting of the work with the 3D tiles. The first step is you can get the concept of it. What is a 3D tiles? So and then how can I work with it? And then what are the queries that uh, CZM will accept uh, for working with the 3D tiles? Okay, so if you are excited, uh, let's uh, start coding. First, let's check uh, our folder structure. Just I will go one folder back and just uh, see my folder structure. Here is the data containing the four CTGML data. I will show you later uh, in this course when I want to upload them in the CCM ion. And after that, this is the final version of this code and uh, start folder. So if you uh, if you want uh, to start coding uh, with me, uh, just clone this uh, Git repository and start coding uh, with me step by step. Uh, with this folder and then after that you will see the result of the code in the final one yeah great uh, then uh, first of all i will just jump uh, into the start folder and uh, just open everything in the uh, visual studio code uh, from this tutorial, I don't want to uh, use uh, CDN, uh, CZM CDN. I think it's enough. Now we should start working with the Webpack. Uh, so here you can see this is the uh, Webpack config of the, of the CZM. So I have already added the latest link uh, of the GitHub. Maybe you are watching this video, uh, so maybe after some month so it will be great first of all you check this git repository so see the latest configurations of the web cap and then start coding and create your awesome application then uh, here we have our css and here i have just the only thing it's a cesium config file and then symbol conditions as you see we have a two type of categories the roof type and train height uh, all these informations uh, are coming from the uh, ogcs standard so uh, almost i think i hope that probably most of the ctgml data should contain according to their accuracy quality and such a things should contain such a informations then it is uh, our index.html folder it is it is really easy and just contains some uh, bootstrap codes. So, uh, so we have talked about it in our previous tutorial, so I don't want to go too deep in it again. So here it is a simple index.js file. So the only thing I want to do right now, uh, just do the configuration of the uh, webpack. Uh, first of all, and npm install so with npm install you want to install uh, all, all of our packages and create a node uh, module uh, folder and all, all the libraries and so on so npm install cesium so to get all the updated versions of the cesium library and after that npm install boots trap it's correct yeah 
So great. So here, uh, all of our files has already been there. And uh, then, so I will close the file, take a look at it. Everything is fine. So uh, then right now we can say NPM start. Great. So just let me open it so it is successfully completed. So let me just open it in the browser and see uh, our web pack, pack configuration is fine. And we can see the CCM train and then OSM building. Yeah, everything is fine. So let me just close everything. Now I wanted to, I, I want to talk about uh, this uh, CTGML data. Here is our folder structure, uh, as we have already talked about it. Inside the folder structure, here you can see that there are a different type of CTGML data. Uh, they are just containing the information of the building, uh, not more. I have already opened one of them in editor. Uh, just let me open it. So this is the CTGML data. It is the XML format and developed by the OGC and also CTGML data. It's designed to represent the geometry, topology, segments, and anything related to the urban structure, yes. For example, here you can see different type of the attributes, uh, like, for example, here it's a German data, <laughs> definitely all the information. Uh, it's in German, for example, the Gemeinde Stussel, this is the municipality or community key, yes? Such information and also the GML ID. Okay, for example, uh, another sample that I want to say, it's about, uh, where is it? For example, this one, this is a roof type. I think you have already uh, saw it in, in, the, in the first part of the, this video. Okay, we will just work with these roof types to give some colors to the buildings, yes? And also, if you are excited, just take a look at it. It has a, the geometry, it has a different type of uh, the tags, like a wall, wall surface, roof surface, and ground surface. Uh, so just take a look at it. If you have any questions, comment in the comment section below. Okay, so uh, I will just close everything. And also here, then I will open our codes. Okay, uh, before uh, coding, just I want to explain you right now how you can use your CTGML data, how you can convert the CTGML data to the 3D types. I have, as you see, I have already logged in, in into my CZM IN account. So just the only thing, if you are not familiar with this, but I'm pretty sure CZ, CCM. Okay, just Google it, and after that, just create a free account, and after that, just log in to your IN account. So the things that I have already done. Inside the IN account, just go to the asset files, and after that, you should just add your data. Click on it, add files, then uh, .gml format data, and just load any, how many files, as much file you can just add it there. Uh, CZM uh, will merge all of them together. And then after that, the, one of the wonderful and amazing tools that you can see here, it's the clamp data to the train. It's really awesome, okay? So here, you, if you remember from our previous tutorial, how much time you spend just to clamping one object to the CZM train. But here, just you can see with one click, everything is there, yeah? And you don't need to spend a lot of time just to do such a works. And after that, you should click on upload data. Let me just do that. And then you can see the data, it's there. It takes a little bit time, so I don't wanna do it because I have already uploaded all four uh, GML data, which at the amount it is 120 megabytes. So you can also see uh, the data it's imported properly or not in this panel. Just come down and after that here in the code section, uh, open the complete code example. Just I will click on it and here this is the this is the code. Okay, let me just take a look. 
maybe I can just grab, not all of them, I will just grab this part of the code. Okay. So then maybe also I don't need it. Maybe I can close it. Also this part. So this is, as you remember, this is our uh, index.js code. So I will just paste all the codes exactly here. A little bit format the code, then organize imports. Again, reformat the code. Great. So here we have our viewer train provider and also CZM train. Here you can see that everything, this CZM, because it is when you are using the CDN, you should type the CZM. Uh, in the first part so i don't need it so i will just remove it from this part and inside the viewer so just import it under top great and after that here again we have a cesium mm, for the train provider maybe i don't want to use this part Okay, so directly I want to just create create world create word train async data. Yeah, I think it's easier. Okay, just reformat my code. Everything is fine. After that, again, I don't need this part. So I will just remove it. Then it's a time for the tile sets. The tile sets are coming from CZM 3D tile from ion asset, this, this number. So this number, it is the asset ID. So I will just remove it. Maybe I can just put it here. Okay, then I will remove this one and just I will write const. Uh, this is asset ID. Yeah. Great. Then, so it should be a number. Just I will paste it here. Uh, X port default. Then we need an object of access token and asset. ID. Great. Then I will back uh, to the index.js and I want to add uh, the asset ID. Let me just check one more time. So we don't need a default, just export is enough. And just I want to call the asset ID. Then I will just assign it here to sorry uh, to here as asset id great so type set is created and after that it is assigned and added to the viewer and after that we will zoom to the type set so let's check our implementation up to this point so Here we have an error, CZM is not defined. Let's check. Yeah, it is completely correct because it is coming from the, and also in the top, we should import CZM, uh, CZM, so 3D tile, 3D tile set correct yeah then we will back to the browser just refresh it then yeah perfect so exactly the same view inside the CZM IN appears in our uh, browser the next step is giving some styles to our building 
Again, I will back to the browser, then just CCM. I will jump to the CCM website and in the learn part, documentations, CCM.js, and here in the left side, style and filter 3D tiles. Great, I will just come a little bit down and then here you can see that this is the first part for the styling. So in that case, if you have any uh, so if you have a tile set and a style, you should define a new class of CZM 3D tile style. After that, you will write your conditions. There are different type of the things. For example, this is for the colors. And then here it is uh, just show. It is just the filtering. So we need, we want to visualize all the buildings, um, which are the residential and, or, sorry, or, and the type of the building is apartments. Yeah, it's easy. And then here it is a combination of the color and then giving the calculation of the distance. Yeah, these are the easy things and different type of the options. Okay, let's start with these color conditioning. I will take it. I grab this part of the code back to the VS code, paste it there a little bit, format it. So here it should be tile set. And after that, again, I don't need cesium and I should import it exactly on the top. So again, reformat the code. Okay, so here it says that Tile set at the style, then we are creating a new class of the CZM3D tile style. So for the color conditions, we have the name. So if the name is equal to something, so here we should just write, if I don't make a mistake, it should be roof type. And then roof type equal to maybe I can just say 1000 and after that the color should be red otherwise it is one okay so open the terminal again and m start great and after that back to the browser open the new tab and then it was localhost 8080 great yeah, you can see that now we selected all the buildings. Let's check this one, that the roof type is 1000. We can do exactly the same thing for 3100 and also for 3200 and so on. In that case, with one uh, view, you can just estimate that how is the roof types in this environment, okay? Great, let's change it again to another one it was the roof height and then train train height and then if the train height is i don't know maybe we can say that it's more than maybe i can say that three uh, 300 20 then it should be red yeah you can see it's really easy and then we can give different type of colors to our buildings or to our 3d tiles okay then what is more let's again check the implementation where is our buttons so here it is easy just i forgot to import the import then from bootstrap bootstrap list css then i need bootstrap bootstrap dot css okay let's check our buttons yeah exactly so here they are our buttons back now it's time to click create a class and make and improve our code, the quality of our code and the cleanness of our code. So we have a two buttons. When I'm clicking on different buttons, different type of conditions, color conditions should appear. First of all, we should create a file which is called Tile Style Manager. 
after that we should create a class and which is name tile style manager and then inside the parameter we will get a tile set and then and here we should say that this dot tile set equal to tile set also we can export export this class the first step is is our cesium 3d uh, 3d tile style we want to create a function called apply style and which is a anonymous function conditions and then after that we need style const which is a CCM 3D style 3D tile style okay we will import it from the CCM and then again we should pass an object to that inside the object we should give the color We should give the color and then again we should pass a function and give the conditions as a conditions great after and finally we should say that for this tile set dot a style it should be equal to style so finish so in that case we have uh, this function ready in that case for any other functions that we want to give the style and give the condition to these uh, two type train and roof everything will be ready the next thing is the generating the colors generate colors then for the generating the colors again i need an anonymous function number of colors then here uh, i i want to use the uh, chroma so first of all we will back to our terminal we will open a new terminal and then npm install chroma-js great so okay because i have already installed the chroma so i have it uh, inside my node my js module okay then chroma-js dot a scale here i will use spectral so just take a look at the chroma website and there are a different types of the options so you can easily use any of them that you want and finally i wanted to say that how many colors I need which is equal to number of the columns great and number of the columns definitely it should be equal to to the length of this condition and the length of these features so 
the generate colors also is ready the next step is we need to define the train height style and roof type style so train height style which is equal to again one anonymous function so I will remove this and also we need a roof type style again it should be equal to the anonymous function great for the train height we don't need uh, any input value directly we will go to our function the first step is we should count and we should uh, we should know how many colors we want to create which is equal to the number of the features of the roof type and the conditions so for the train height we should say const number of features equal to uh, sorry, number of conditions, so which is equal to train height, uh, train height dot conditions dot length. Then the next thing is const colors which is equal to generate colors and then inside the function we will give number of the conditions now we should create a list so here we have this list of the features so the combination of this one and the colors we want to create a list exactly same as so this one so train height more than 220 and the colors so first we should create this part of the condition so back to the tile style manager and here i want to just uh, create again one const train conditions equal to again train height dot conditions dot i will use the map functions for the map function again we need the anonymous function condition and also we need index so inside the uh, inside the body of these functions we should just first of all dollar sign then the curly braces and inside that train height then which is more than more than what <laughs> more than condition dot height so this is the first part of the list the second part of the list is the color or yeah the second uh, then it should be again here color color then open and one single code then plus it should be here uh, then we need colors so so we have a list of the colors for example if the length is five so it creates the five colors now i need to give the index to that index then plus i need to close this part of the uh, color so again and then after that this one and i want to and i will close it close the color so then we need also to add this 
true function value if it is true then it should be for example white or gray i will grab this part of the code and then here i should say condition uh, what was that what was the name of our variable train condition train condition dot push exactly we can copy paste copy paste it here okay great so here it's done the last step is we should call the apply style and give the style uh, to our tile set so exactly after that this oh sorry this dot tile set dot oh sorry this dot apply a style train conditions okay uh, i think we can test our implementation up to this point to see everything it works perfectly or not so back to the index.js so let's check our code once more everything is fine i think uh, the only thing uh, maybe in, uh, we should just bring our main.css and also why my bootstrap it is not complete let me just complete it this css and bootstrap dot css great then i will just remove this part of the code and const then s uh, style manager equal to new tile style manager so what will be the input of that it should be the tile set tile set great and style manager dot uh, style manager dot train height style perfect okay let's open the terminal so maybe i can just close all of them and open once new uh, npm start okay just let's open the, our implementation let's open the browser and see the implementation So here uh, we have a <clears throat> problem. Let's check uh, what is the problem of our code. So I will back to the Visual Studio code and uh, inside the tile style manager. So here we have our condition. So this is correct. Oh, okay. The problem is here. It shouldn't be curly braces. Uh, it should be a list because we are returning a list and because I was using the just default anonymous function. So everything. Okay. Now I think everything should look great. Back to the browser. Yes. Perfect. So here, these are our buildings uh, with uh, the correct color and styling. Okay. Just, I will close it and just, I want right now to write the last part of the code. So for the roof type, just we need, the first thing is const, again, number of features is equal to uh, roof type dot features dot length. And after that, we should say that const, colors equal to generate colors dot generate colors then number of the features so according to the number of the features you have already created 
colors then comes the then feature conditions is equal to a roof type that features dot map so again we will give the features and also index and after that we pass an anonymous function with the braces and here just we should say that a number then here we should sign dollar sign then roof type then this one should be equal 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 to then plus features sorry feature dot value okay so here we have our here i have a mistake and then now the value is here okay great so if you if you take a look at this part of the code here we can see that here is the number because the, the type of the because the roof type is integer so we need a, a number because everything that this this uh, this part is returning it is a string and this one is the number so we need to convert it to the integer value or a number so the first part of the list and uh, finally we need uh, the color again the same thing uh, color <clears throat> and just this one then we need plus so colors we need index again plus perfect the last part also it is the same just we should say just i will grab the true part and at the end of this list feature that condition push this part and finally this dot uh, this dot apply style feature conditions then <clears throat> we will back to the index.js and here we should just say roof type style then back to the browser so roof type is not defined again let's back to the tile style manager so if you want to compare it with this one so where is the problem the problem it's here i forgot to add the braces a small mistake yeah i hope that right now everything should work perfectly yes there you go so now it's time to activate this button when i'm clicking on the train height this one should be activated otherwise roof type okay then again back to the VS code. So <clears throat> index.js. So the default value maybe we can just as a train height style. Right now here we are just using document uh, dot get element by ID. So let's back to the index dot html so the first thing is the btn train so we will grab it and i will close this part i don't need this and this one in the index.js so btn train dot add event listener 
so again when it, it, it should be click and after that we will pass uh, one anonymous function it is nothing there and then here also we don't need this one uh, style manager dot train height style okay so we have the exactly the same thing just i will duplicate it and just refactor the code so in this part i should change it to the roof type style then back to the index what is the name of this one it should be btn roof so perfect okay i think everything is fine then again back to the yes the first step is correct maybe i can just close it then height and roof type great i think it's enough for this tutorial again thanks a lot for your time and i want to say a special thank to the czm to support this series of tutorial in case of any questions don't forget to comment it in the comment section below see you all in the next video bye